Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Morphe 39S palette review slash challenge. There's going to be a little challenge at the end when I'm actually doing this look. This look was the challenge, so stay tuned to see what I mean. Um, and stay tuned if you want to see how I did this look. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. We're just going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I know it's the setting mist, but it's going to dampen my face, so. <laughs> What, what's the main ingredient of it? It's water, water, so it doesn't matter, does it? And definitely some fragrance in there too. But it smells good. Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade Fair Porcelain and Blend. I should probably be closer to the camera, huh? I don't want to scare Naya. Oops, scared her anyways. Do I? Am I allergic to something in this? Because every single time I use it, this little red circle pops up every time. And it also generally pops up on the other side, but it hasn't yet. But like, it doesn't hurt. It like, it's not itchy. Oh, maybe sometimes. But like, it's kind of like, it's as if there's like, it's... Ah, ah, she shoot, boo, 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 boo. Oh, now you can't speak English. It's kind of like as if it's sunburnt. And it's like when something cool touches it, it's like really, um soothing it doesn't hurt so should i be worried oh, i don't know this definitely isn't the only product it happens with so i think i just have sensitive skin and there's something that i should be mindful of that i don't know about yet so that's cool i don't really like this foundation because well i didn't read the bottle when i bought it that's for sure because it's invisible coverage so <laughs> cool what's the point in it then Invisible coverage, visibly perfected skin. If that's not the biggest lie I've ever read, I don't know what is. Because if it's invisible coverage, then it's not visibly perfected skin, is it? No, that's not how that works. So, why did I buy this? I must have bought the wrong one. But oh well, too late now. Now at least I finally understand why I hate it so much. Because it's invisible coverage. Now, this is going to sound crazy. Before I conceal and do the rest of my face or whatever, I'm going to start bronzing my neck the way I normally would. When I set my neck with, like, normal powder, I set it with the bronzer, so the bronzer sticks better. That's how I get my tanned neck, as if I use fake tan, but just bronzer. Maybelline City Bronzer in, isn't it, like, light, light to cool. No. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Is that shadow? Oh, it's this. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so I start out with that and then I go with a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder thingy in 235. Pure beige. Whoa. Pure beige. And then. I go in with that as well. This is like more tan than I am. It's like a for when I'm fake tanned setting powder. But when I'm not fake tanned, I use this as a bronzing powder because it works. What are you doing, Naya? She's crazy, I tell you. She's absolutely crazy. After this video, I'm filming the um, I adopted a cat one year update video, so you would have already seen that. It's already on my channel for a timeline that I'm filming today. It is Thursday, the something of June. I don't really know what date it is. I just know it's my birthday month and my birthday's coming up like really fast and I'm like kind of scared, but it's okay. Now, to give my face some more coverage, 
shape tape and I should know this off my heart by now. Fair neutral. I knew that. Hello Naya. What are you doing? Meow meow. Oh, she's cleaning herself behind my back. She's leaning on it so I will try not to move right now. I don't want to spook her. Get a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I'll tell you the shade in a second. It's in Fair Light. Oh, there's stuff in my eye. And there's cat fur on my face, I can feel it. Well, it could be a brush hair, but judging by how fine it is, I would wager it's you, Missy. So I'm just like wetting my... <laughs> if that doesn't look inappropriate, I don't know what does. Um, I'm wetting my Morphe sponge, and I'm just kinda like, getting the spray and like spraying it into it and just wetting it in the areas that I need it to be wet okay um that looks inappropriate as ever but okay I'm going to be taking my W7 banana dreams loose powder and <laughs> getting some on there and just Going under my eye. Naya, what are you doing? Okay, cool. My Chi Chi Highlighting and Contouring Palette. Can you open, please? I'm taking shade number four, which is this one, this one, the long one, and I'm just gonna setting the rest of my face. Okay. Now, just like with the clean side, I'm just gonna patting my eye where the concealer was to make sure it's not creased. And then I'm going to be setting that with number two, which is the lighter shade. And yeah, that's that's that. Same bronzer as before. I'm using my face. Hi, what are you doing? Okay. Now this is where I get that um, W7 banana powder. I get the flat end of the Morphe sponge. Dip it in. That's a lot. That is unnecessary. Let's just. Okay. And then carve out the face. Probably gonna do my eyebrows after because I always keep my eyeshadow in my eyebrows. So, probably not the smartest idea to do that right now. Sorry about uneven bake. It's just you're gonna have to deal with it because I have to deal with it too. So, mm -hmm. cool. Now, this is a bit messy because I did use it just to try it out. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit battered, just a little bit. It's definitely been used, but this is the 35, 9, this is the 39S. It's so pretty, so gorgeous, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll do some swatches for you. I'll insert the swatches now, I'll be doing it after this, but the swatches will go now. Talia in editing that video now. Cool, thanks. I'm gonna be doing some switches on my arm and I'll. Yes? I'll tell you what the shades are as we go. I don't know if this is cheating or whatever, but I'm just gonna wet my arm a bit because I know there is some shimmers in there. So I want like a good base for it. So I give them a fair shot. It might make the mats a bit patchy, but you'll understand why. Anyways, so I'm gonna go with the first one, which is called Making Bank or Making. There's no G. Making Bank looks like this and let's see if I can get this even it just looks like that some of them are very sheer they're more toppers which is what they're intended for anyways hello gorgeous girl you're on the way the next one is called posh Bot. just in case you're wondering I'm going like across like this obviously well it's not obvious but like it should be um which one is called posh boss So yeah, that's my fault for putting down the wet base. It makes the mats a bit patchy, so that's my fault, not the actual thing. The next one is called Booty. Um, let me start from like, how do I? Okay. That one is Bougie. It's really not giving the mats a fair go here, but anyways. You're so beautiful, Nora. She's just joining me. You can't see her, but she's just sitting next to me while I'm doing it. Let's see if I can... 
museum. Yeah, you can. <laughs> we'll just do it like this for now and then, huh? <laughs> so you can be in frame. Excuse the mess behind her though, that's my bad, obviously. Um, anyways, the next one is called Dazzleum. This one is definitely gonna be more like of a, one that you're gonna need like a nice base with. Because I feel like, yeah, you need something for it to stick to. It's very glittery. It's more a topper than anything else. Uh, the next one is called Pearl Perfection. Goodbye, Nile. This one's just a very blinding shade. The next one is called Flaunt It. There we go, just like a brown. I'll put the descriptions down here. Oh no, it wasn't. That one was called Super Swanky. The next one is called Flaunt It. Sorry. That is so pigmented. Oh my god, that is insane. No! We just talk to each other. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, anyways, the next one is called Plums Up. Oofed. Um, next one is called Marvelous, but it's like Mauve. I think. Movilous or something? I don't know. Can't really see. Naya! That one's super pretty as well. We're in the second row now. Next one is called Pink Prize. <laughs> Sorry, Naya, I didn't mean to scare you. This one. <laughs> It's called Amethyst Ore. I don't really know. I'm just going to put the names down the bottom. That one's super pretty as well. Naya! Your video is next. She just wants attention all the time. Meow. Treasure Trove. Running out of arm space here. That one's super pigmented. And then the last one on this arm swatch, but it's definitely, it's like the middle of the second row. We're onto this one here. It's called Ritzy Rose. That one's super pretty as well. Oh, I'll probably fit one more. Could I fit the whole row? Tricking? Let's try it. The next one is called De Decadent as fuck. I get it. Decadent. De I, I'm not even gonna put it. I'm just gonna. You tell me what it's called. I can't. It's here. So you tell me. English was my worst subject. So next one is called Very Good. Spoiler alert. I used this in the video. Come on, I got one more shade after this. I can do it. And then the last one on that row, which is the second row, is called That's Tempting. Naya! Down to the elbow. They're such good shades. Like, oh, if this isn't persuading you to get it, then I don't know what will. But there are some stainers in there, which is expected with pinks and purples. And like really good shades. <coughs> Just like boasting Morphe, it's fine. Morphe's my favorite, so. And Tom. Morphe and Tarte are my favourite brands, so I'm fine with posting them up a bit. Take the crown. Spoiler alert, also used this in the video. So pretty. Um, then the next one is called Oh Yas. Super pretty. The next one is called Total Goals. We'll find out, shall we? Oof, I definitely can't disagree with that. Statement. Look at that shade. The next one is called Catch the Light. I definitely think this will do just that. Yep. <laughs> the next one is called Bling Thing Naya. Next one is called Here For It. This one is definitely more of a topper. And then the last one on the big shades is called Strike Pose. it for the big shades I'm just gonna get rid of them and try and fit the last two rows on my whole arm 
is the fourth row first shade is called Lavender. You know, a little play on words of lavender. Lavender. It's definitely more of a topper than anything else, but it's super pretty. And then we've got Purple Majesty. And then we've got It's Violet. See what you're doing there, Morphe. Come on. Next one is called Make It Rain, but like, you'll, you, you see, different sort of rain. Naya. The next one is called You Fancy. Come here. Naya. Pain game. Extra oomph. Am I going to be able to make two rows? I'm not even going to use this one. Wine not. Naya. Yeah, come on. Suki Lala. That's not the shade. <laughs> the shade is called Perry Twinkle. Come on. Come on. That is so pretty. And then the next one is called Loaded Lilac. Why do you always come when I say come here, but you won't stay there? Come here. Just, yeah. Go sit back there. <gasps> Next one is called Grape Mines. Naya. Stay here. Come here. You're gonna have makeup all over you now. The next one is called Shiny Object. Don't mind Naya in the background. Very much a shiny colour. The next one is called Pure Lux. And that's right, just watch me from afar. Just death stare me from afar, Naya. I don't mind. Okay, this one is called Show Off. And it's very glittery. I would suggest using a glitter glue personally. Um, that's like a waste. I don't want to waste that much. I would suggest using a glitter glue. It's just like a whole hunk of glitter. So, yeah, that hurts my heart to waste that because it's such a pretty shade and I would probably just buy the whole palette again just for that shade. So, that really hurt my heart to swatch that and waste that, but it's fine. Next, we've got Garnet Glam. Ooh, that looked quick and smooth. And then the last shade in the palette is called Roxol. <laughs> so these are all the fourth and fifth row shades in the palette. That was all 39 shades of 39S palette. Um, those were all the swatches. If that alone didn't convince you to buy the palette. I don't know what would because like they were amazing but anyways um yeah that's jump into the rest of the video so now that you've seen the swatches and you see how beautiful it is um now as for the challenge i'm not excited for like i am but i'm not like i'm actually really scared mum's going off and not at the moment mum when you're watching this you need to cut that shit out. It's so annoying. Throwing your tantrums will get you nowhere. Okay? Okay. Basically what the challenge is going to be, I haven't done it yet. We're getting there. But there's 39 shades in this. And I just watched, I think it was an Alyssa, Alyssa Ashley. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was her. Was it? Yeah, it was her. Zach! Shush! 
um, it was Alyssa, that, mm, it was an Alyssa Ashley video, and she did it so she like had it numbered and then picked out numbers and had to use those colors. So I'm gonna be doing that, and so it's not just like a boring I pick whatever I want type of review. I'm scared as it is to work with these sort of colors, like the purples, that terrifies the shit out of me. I'm not a makeup artist, I don't know what I'm doing, I just think makeup's fun and I like being able to experiment with it. But this is a bit scary for me because I'm not just some amazing makeup artist that could make anything work, you know what I mean? So this is probably going to turn out horrible, so that's probably foreshadowing. Cool. How many colours should I pick? Maybe five? Is that a lot? I don't know. Alyssa did four. But I feel like that's not very fair on such a huge palette because she did a she did it with the 25 something I can't remember the pride one for June um so that only had 25 shades but this has 39 <laughs> so I feel like I should do more than four you know what I mean Zach be quiet <sighs> I'm in a little bit of a predicament I did, a, I did a random online generator. Um, I'll insert the clip here if I managed to screen record properly. If I didn't, if it didn't work out, I'm sorry, I guess you'll just have to believe me. That seems so iffy though. Um, I've put like, can you see, a little conceal marks above the ones that I have to use. It was 5, 35, 35, I wrote the numbers down. 5, 35, 34, 25, 14, 17. So, that's them, it's five, and then what was it, 35, which would be this one, 34, which was the one next to it, 25, which was this one, I think, and then 17 was this big one. So, I don't know, I feel like they're okay colours because I think they kind of work well together, but I also like, again, like I said, I'm not, oh no, I missed one, 14, is this pink, no, the bottom one, the, this, this pink one, I missed that one, so it's 14. So that's this one. Um, it has a concealer mark above it, I don't know how I missed it. Apparently I just can't read. But yeah, I have those. I feel like they can work together. Do I want them to work together? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I don't think I'm that good at makeup. So trying to make those work is going to be a little bit of a struggle. Like it shouldn't be too bad because I definitely didn't get blessed. Didn't get blessed, didn't get the worst things. Like I could've gotten that and I wouldn't have no clue what to do about it. First thing I'm gonna dip into is Purple Majesty. This is not gonna go well. I don't want like that kind of a brush. This is a Morphe M441. It has blue on it. I need to clean it off. Hang on. Okay, I got off as much as the blue as I could. It's been a bit stern. Um, but yeah, so we got the whatever I said, the M441. And we're going into Purple Majesty. Is that what it was called? I don't know. I don't want to get it wrong because that's embarrassing. Purple Majesty. That's intimidating to me. I know that doesn't look like much. That's because it's probably not, but that's intimidating to me. And also the brush is slightly wet, so that means it's gonna be a bit patchy, but that's my fault. This is so pigmented, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> what am I doing? Can you see how frayed this brush is? Yeah, it's, it's um, definitely had its use. Okay, so we got Zach yelling at his friends and mum listening to her loud ass music. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. But this is this part's all gonna be sped up anyway, so you're not gonna be able to hear it. But later on when I am talking, like now, sorry if you can hear that. Out of my control. 
Okay, so we've got Purple Majesty on now. Zach! Please stop yelling! You are! You have a microphone to your mouth! I'm a lovely big sister. Sometimes. Well, this brush is stained purple, so that works. Because next I'm going to be going in with... Oh, I was so confused by my concealer dots then. I'm an idiot. Um, next I'm going to be going in with... Uh, Grape Mines. Okay. Which is this purple shade here. With this... Um, M431 little tapered pencil brush. That's scary. That's a scary side right there. That's really scary. That's like a lot. Okay. Okay, that is just a little bit scary. Okay. I just kind of wanted to like place it in the crease so I could blend it out and um yeah it's definitely gonna need some blending out because it is pigmented. I'm just gonna be going back and forth between the two just getting a nice blend so that'll be sped up for you now. Okay, this is going, oops, everywhere, so this is apparently. I'm just going to get some powder again. No, these walls are just paper thin. If you didn't hear that, my brother told his friends to get one ear headphones so they can hear how loud they are. Um, and he's like, yeah, just like me, I can, so I can hear how loud I am. But apparently my sister has sensitive ass ears and she thinks I'm always yelling. So that's why I just yelled that, if you were wondering. And to be fair to him, he wasn't yelling just then. It wasn't um, him yelling that. He was speaking that. He does yell a lot. You'll be able to hear it throughout the videos. But just then he was just speaking. But because these walls are paper thin, I did hear exactly what he just said. And I don't think he was expecting me to reply. So, yeah. That'll do for now. Okay, so as you can see, I blended those two colours as much as I... I'm willing to at this point, this is, you have no idea, this video has cut down a lot, but I've been filming for over an hour, so, yeah, we've used these two, this one and this one, okay, um, I think I'm going to use another one again, 
So we're not completely done with those colours, but like we've used them, okay? We can see that we've used them, okay? So they're, they're ticked, okay? Okay. Okay, what's next? Morphe concealer in the shade um, C1.25. Is that what it's called? I'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand, like so, so we can cut the crease. Hopefully, this is enough to do so. I'm gonna take that big one, tell you what it's called in a second, let me just place it on the lid before this dries. Oh, I love how Naya's still behind me asleep. No, you can't see her. It's so cute. Get the second eye off camera, and this is how it's looking at the moment. Minus that mess, but oh well. So yeah, that's how it's looking so far. Now we're going to be smoking out the lower lash line and we're going to be using... Okay, wait, hang on. Before I do all that, I have used shades Purple Majesty, Grape Mines, Shiny Object, and Take the Crown. I have used those shades, so they are ticked off. I am still yet to use Berry Good and Pearl Flexion. Pearl Flexion. Perfection. Okay, cool. So, what I'm planning, I can't speak. What I'm planning to do is, oh, am I gonna have to clean that off? Damn it, Talia. M431 brush, and yet yeah, the very good shade, like so, and just kind of smoke it on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to get Purple Majesty and just kind of blend like that. Ooh, cute, I reckon that looks fine. But we are going to get the other brush. Where is it? Is that it? Yeah. This is a brush I've been using, I forgot to tell you guys. This is the AOA Studio E129 brush, and we're just going to. Make sure they're connected. M441. Wasn't I using an M441 before? Is this an M441? Wow, okay, look at the difference between these two brushes. You can see what's been used and what hasn't. They're both an M441. Look how frayed and like split apart that one is. And then look at this one, just a brand new one. Wow. And then we're gonna dip into that final shade, the fifth shade, and it was called Pearl Fleck, Pearl Flexion. I keep saying flexion because it's like reflective, so I keep thinking. Anyways, um, and we're gonna put that in the inner corner. OXX Studio Brow Pencil in the shade Brown. In the shade Medium. Did I say brown? So we've done that. We're gonna do a bit more of our banana, banana powder. Don't know how to speak. <gasps> Nearly dropped it all. And we're just gonna really carve that line out. Okay, this is how we're looking. We're looking pretty good so far. It went a lot better than I was expecting it to, which is really good. Okay. 
the Maybelline the Big Shot Colossal Volume, Volume Express Mascara. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline the Mega Push Volume Express Mascara. That was a nice one. This, I never say what brow pencil this is. This is just an OXX Studio brow pencil. I mean, what? Eyeliner pencil. Um, need to do my waterline. I need to sharpen this first though. This is literally where I start going. Oh no, we've got some tears. You cannot be happy. Go back in the eyeball, please. I don't understand how people just shove it in there and just go from, from. Like, are you human? Do you have any sort of freaking sense of feeling? Because I would feel that and cry. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't do it properly. I did as much as I could, but I cannot. I'm going to bore my eyes out. <sighs> okay, and dip into that perfection. Perfection. And while we're at it, I will use it as a highlighting shade too. And we're of course gonna get from string. And I'm gonna put that on too because I cannot live without it now, so <laughs> gonna use it. See just look at that, look at the difference. <laughs> oh, just diffuse it just a little bit under here. <sighs> of course. Could not live without it, so <laughs> Now we're just gonna go in with a wish like a bit. Oops. Love the hiccups. Okay, so this is the finished walk. Morphe 35S palette review slash challenge. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Would definitely recommend the palette. The shades are very pigmented. For someone who before this was very scared to use purples because like I'm always scared I'm gonna mess that up and like purple is generally a pretty scary shade because purples are hard to make so they can be pretty blotchy sometimes and for all of that being said i don't think it turned out that bad especially for someone who's not a makeup artist and is not great with makeup i think it's pretty impressive for my lips dry out though i'm gonna quickly put on some lip balm over the top of this because if i don't i'm just asking for them to dry out and for those who were curious by any chance um, it's the watermelon Carmex one that I used <laughs> but anyways so yeah I think it's definitely worth it it's an amazing palette um, it's so beautiful like hello can we like yeah mm, I thought so so yeah it's just beautiful and mm -hmm, yeah okay mm -hmm, yeah. would definitely recommend the palette so yeah that was my video I hope you enjoyed it Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition and a letter D at the end as well. I'm making videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and don't forget, everything's going to be okay in the end and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.